We may have ended February 2017 with storms Doris and Ewan, but provisional figures from the Met Office suggest that this winter was drier than average. This follows a dry autumn and is a big contrast to recent very wet winters. Absolutely, so last winter uh, was the second wettest winter on record uh, and actually the wettest winter in our series was just three years ago uh, in 2013-14. Contrast that with this year that's been drier than average. So here we see the brown colours show that the conditions were drier than what we'd normally expect, particularly in the southeast in December. Um, during January, the dry weather was further north, more over Scotland, and, and February's actually come out relatively close to average. But that means for the winter overall, it's been about three quarters of, of what we might expect in a, in a normal winter. For much of the winter, large areas of high pressure remained close to the British Isles. These anti-cyclones helped to block Atlantic wind and rain, often redirecting the main storm track to the north of Scotland. Whilst many dry winters are also cold, this year northerly and easterly winds were only brief occurrences and we ended up with a rare, dry but mild winter. Yeah, there have only been sort of five really notable dry mild winters uh, in our record, uh, of which this is uh, turned out to be one of them. And if we look at the maps here showing the temperature anomalies, um, with the exception of a cold spell in late January over the southeast, most of the rest of the winter, as we can see here in the red colours, um, was actually warmer than we would expect for the time of year. It's the position of high pressure directly over or close to the UK that has been crucial. The result? A dull winter with long periods of fog and mild southwesterly winds. So at first glance, a particularly unremarkable winter. Cloudy, dry, but mild. Compared to stormy and mild winters or cold and snowy winters, however, the fact that this year was so unexceptional is of particular interest to climate scientists like Mark.